Um, so, next up, our special guest. You, you heard him talk a little bit earlier, John Akampour. Where is he from, though? He is from Excel Campus. Dot com. He's an Excel MVP, a new Excel MVP. You, you might remember he was first brought up on this show. His name was first brought up by Zach Barisi, who oh, yeah. gave, a, gave a, a table tip, so to speak. And with that tip, he said, hey, you know, this is something that I heard from John Akinpour over at ExcelCampus.com. So, John, first off, welcome to the show. And would you mind saying hello and just talking a little bit about Excel Campus? What's that all about? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me, first of all. I'm excited to be here. Uh, Excel Campus is just a blog that's about uh, learning how to use Excel and saving time with your everyday tasks. I have a bunch of blog posts with in-depth articles on there. I do videos as well, uh, just tutorial videos. And I've also developed uh, quite a few add-ins now. I think I have six or seven add-ins on there uh, that you can download. The majority of them are free. So, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely growing every day, and it's, it's a fun place to hang out and learn about Excel. That's right. So how did this start? Did you grow up saying, I want to build Excel add-ins? <laughs> I don't know if ever, anyone ever says that. <laughs> I to meet that person. You know, it, it started, um, honestly, when I was, my first job out of college, I was uh, working for a small company doing accounting and finance stuff, and they were using Excel for everything, um, inventory, planning, you know, accounting, everything, you know, and I think most small businesses, well, medium, large businesses out there use Excel for a lot of things, so I really got immersed into it just right away and uh, fell in love, you know, what can I say? Um, it's hard to get away from, actually, you know, if you're in the finance or accounting world, uh, it's it's there in every company, um, which I like, which I think is is cool, and, yeah. uh, you yeah. know, so, yeah, so it's, and it's uh, it's been a journey ever since. I started just developing um, add-ins after I saw we, especially in that. Well, every company I've worked for has always had problems with just processes. You know, it takes time to do certain things, and uh, and there's a lot of room for automation. So that's kind of where I got into that was just seeing the need to get things done a little quicker, a little more efficiently, and and. Uh, and I just hate doing repetitive tasks all day long. Right. I get bored pretty quick. So um, that you know, with Excel, you can program it, and it's an amazing tool because of that. I think the possibilities are just are just really endless uh, yeah. because you can program to your heart's desire, and uh, well, that makes it fun. Do you worry about becoming a dinosaur one day that you yeah. might look up five years from now and wish you would have learned JavaScript or something else? Um, yeah, part of me, I think part of me does. I mean, I'm, I'm very open to that, and I, I'm open to learning other languages. I haven't, I've delved in bb.net, um, mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, but I don't know. I, you know, there's companies still using Excel 2003, and they're, you know, they, <laughs> and they're perfectly fine with that, and I don't see that going anywhere. I really don't, so. Uh, it doesn't scare they me. They shouldn't be fine with that, though. They they huh? should not be fine with that. I know. They are fine with that, but. <laughs> but I guess you know I'd I'd like to back up. I got, probably got too far ahead, but um. Yeah. So, what do you do day to day? Do you do consulting? Do you go out and meet with small businesses? I still have a day job, actually. Oh, so okay. I'm a finance manager for a software company here in uh, Southern California. And so that's my that's my day job, and I just started doing a uh, blog on the side, I think about four years ago now, and really I really didn't start doing much in, until the last year, probably about a, a little over a year and a half ago. I really started writing more articles, and I had more add-ins to post and and different uh, VBA uh, utilities and that kind of stuff. So so yeah, I'm still still doing the day job. Got you, got you. All right. Yeah. So you talked a little bit about um, Tab Hound and and some of the uh, I guess some of the software that you're putting out there. Would you mind um, talking a little bit about um, how you went about developing an add-in to begin with? I mean, w what is that process like? Yeah, it's 
It's not easy. I think my first add-in was actually uh, one I a toolbar I developed internally for a company I was working for uh, that was using an Oracle product um, for for doing forecasting, planning, that kind of stuff, and then a spreadsheet interface uh, called SBase. So a lot of people have probably heard of SBase, and I developed a uh, a toolbar in the ribbon that basically automated a lot of the tasks because Oracle kind of sunsetted that product, and uh, and it, but there's a lot of people still using it. So um, that was my first venture with programming in the ribbon, and uh, and I'd done automation before that. Uh, but much smaller scale things. This was actually uh, using the ribbon. I, in fact, I used that uh, Ken Pohl's book. I know you had him on, I think, last week. Uh, quite a bit to learn a lot about the ribbon. Um, and and it, and I think it's it's just uh, from there it was kind of like, wow, there's so much potential here to do other things, to streamline processes, to automate things that we might spend time doing, you know, every day. Uh, that we don't necessarily need to. So, and I'm still working on a lot of different add-ins, and I got a lot of ideas and that kind of stuff. So, so uh, I, yeah, yeah. So I'm curious about um, when you go to develop an add-in, where does that happen? You know, like when a person hears about VBA, like where does that happen? There's no about the sales, but they don't know about pull up the developer tab and hit macros and the thing pops up. But yeah. when you say you want to build an add-in, at what point are you in add-in territory versus formulas of VBA and where does the uh, add-in happen? Alt F11. <laughs> That's the short answer. If you got Excel open right now, press Alt F11. That'll bring up the VBA, the VB editor, and uh, yeah, so that's where it starts. And you can start writing macros in there. You can add modules into your workbook, uh, and 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 then start writing macros in there. I think really, probably how everyone learns and how I learned was by recording macros. Right? There's right. a little button on the bottom left side of Excel there, yep. and yeah, that's definitely how I learned was just recording a macro for something. I can't even remember, but it was probably extremely simple. Mm -hmm. um, copy and paste type of thing, you know. And uh, and that's definitely where I started and then just looking at the code and realizing that, that code is, for me, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to read, right? You can really see, you could record all kinds of stuff you do on your screen and then go look at the code and, and be able to figure out what you did. It's not really foreign language. Um, so that makes it easy. I think it's you know, they call it basic for a reason, right? right. It's pretty right. basic, um, but it's, it's very powerful at the same time because if you're right. doing a repetitive task all day long, every day, you can yes. really save yourself a lot of time and, and headache. So an add-in is written in VBA code, then? Yes. Yeah. So an right. add-in is basically installed, you install an add-in in Excel and then it opens up every time you open Excel. So you have that code there every time you open Excel. So it's a little different than if you're just to record a macro and keep it in your own workbook because that macro is limited to your the workbook that you recorded it in. So an add-in takes that a step further and allows you to run whatever process that you automated uh, every time, no matter what workbook you're in in Excel. Okay. Yeah. I, have, I have a few things on that. First off, we already are getting some comments, and a guy named Ryan Wilson is already talking about how he's used it in a pickled flavored beverage VLOOKUP. So, oh man, we get quite That's... a few there. Oh, wow. uh, what, what I would encourage everybody to do, if you're answering these, don't answer these on the uh, on the uh, the watch Excel TV live page because that's going to update with a new episode every single episode. Instead, put this on the John Acampora because that's the one that's going to be dedicated to this episode. So just make sure you move that over there. Um, but John, would you mind uh, giving us an idea of what we, what do you mean by an Excel ad? And I think that we might have an idea of it. But just since you do this as your product, I wouldn't even yeah. mind if you you know shared a screenshot or something like that of of what you do on your site. You know, what are you talking about when you talk about a Excel at it. Sure. sure, I can uh, share some some screen. Let me get let me pull a screenshot up. 
So on, I'm just on my website here and on the downloads page. So there's a downloads page on my website. And uh, here I have a bunch of add-ins that I've developed. Tabhound was the one I was just talking about right now. Uh, I have a bunch of other ones. This quarter sum formula is pretty simple. But it's again, it's one of these tasks we do in Excel quite often, which is just creating a sum formula um, for the quarters, right? So you have quarters that... Uh, or you have some some formulas for each quarter of the year, and you might if you try and drag that formula over, it's not going to work because it's going to reference the the wrong cells. So right. this add-in just sits up in the toolbar. You can see a picture here, a little screencast that's going through it. Um, basically, up in the add-ins tab of the ribbon, this uh, add-in this button sits up here, and it's called quarter formulas. And you just all you have to do is click on that button and it'll automatically create those formulas um, for you right there for the quarters. So it's, it's, it's really simple, but at the same time, it can save you a lot of time if you're having to go in and type in every single one of those formulas each time you're you know doing quarterly sum formulas. So that's a simple, I think that's probably just a real simple example of an add-in where you just click a button and something happens. So wow. I think, you know, with Excel, the kind of the... The nice part about it, and we'll probably talk about this later, but the, the, the way it's going is, is Microsoft itself is developing a lot of add-ins like Power Pivot and, and uh, Power Query and all these other add-ins um, just to make life a little easier, especially when you get into bigger sets of data. So, um, so yeah, I, I think... I don't know. Does that answer the question about what an add-in is? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. And oh, okay. uh, Would you mind um, kind of... I guess you're on maybe your add-in page. Would you, would you mind scrolling up and down and kind of seeing, letting everybody kind of see what you have there? Yeah, so, okay, so this is just for the quarter sum formulas. It um, basically shows you how it works, and then you can download that particular add-in right here, and it downloads in a zip file, uh, and I have some an article on how to install an add-in. So if you download one of mine or somebody else's, um, this article will step you through exactly how to install it on different versions of Excel, which buttons you have to press on the menu, because it's, it's definitely not the easiest thing out there uh, to in install an add-in. Um, but there's a few steps involved. But once you get it up and going, every time you open Excel, that add-in will be there. So every time I open Excel, I have this add-ins tab on the ribbon up here, and then this, um, this button will appear there and there's a quarter formulas button or in the drop-down menu there, and that'll just run that little macro that uh, will create those sum formulas for you. Gotcha. And so, yeah, so in, on this page, there's a, you know, a bunch of detail about how it works, and of course, if you have questions, just leave a comment. I'm always in the comments there answering questions. So, so, so John. Uh, yeah. Two things. Uh, first, you can all, you can tell how cool you are just by looking at this because I see your bookmarks are Surf, Excel, Snow, Yosemite. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I gotta go back. You know you're Sorry, a cool I'm guy. <laughs> much cooler than so, looking at my face. Okay. Learn a yeah. lot about someone yeah. by their bookmarks. You know, they say like your radio presets. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's life right there. Um, surf comes first. I, did, I, I mentioned I live in Southern California, so uh, my wife and I surf quite a bit, and uh, and that's kind of the, the lifestyle we strive for. And then, you know, everything else. I think I should move Excel up because I'm spending a lot of time in, in the spreadsheet world now, so um, I think that should move up. I think you go before surf. I mean, I'm just, I mean, I don't want to tell you how to organize your bookmarks. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's right in the middle, you know. It's at the heart of the whole browser. There. So we'll leave it at that. But <laughs> that's cool. funny. I didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah. So can you tell us about the name? I'm always interested um, in how people pick their names. So with Excel Campus, what, how'd you come up with that? That's a great question. I actually, when I first started doing this, it was just I read a book on you know blogs and like content marketing and all this stuff, and I was like, okay, that sounds like fun. I want to try this. Uh, and and I had a few. I bought a few different domain domain names with the word Excel in it, um, and I didn't like any of them. I think one of the first ones was Speedy Excel. You know, I just kind of wanted to get across that I wanted to talk about doing things in Excel faster. 
Yeah. And um, then one day I was driving home from work and I passed a road named Campus. It was right near a college campus, and and that was it. So I was I thought that kind of stuck. So it was all a road sign. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's that's got to be a that's got to be a whole another whole another episode of uh, available Excel URLs. Yeah, that's true. There's yeah. I, I, I think I bought quite a few. So you know, even the bad ones are taken. <laughs> Yeah, really? <laughs> even, even the bad ones. I mean, you think you got a good one, but even the bad ones, you're like, no, there's no way it's available because it's bad. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, Excel on a stick or something. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Not only .com, Excel on a stick, .ca, .net, .info, .biz. Oh, I'm gone, I'm sure. Wow. .biz is gone. Uh, .biz, wow. yeah. No, I don't know. Anything. So well, anyway, you got so. Excel TV show. That's pretty good. Yeah. I yeah. like that one. Uh, well, I don't remember. Thank you. 